Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Megan and I live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And if you have a trip planned to my area, or if you're just curious what Lancaster County has to offer, this video is for you. I'm gonna tell you about five locations and one bonus location that I recommend that you go to if you are on a budget. I, as a local, go to these places quite frequently. I'm sure you've all heard of Dutch Wonderland and Hershey Park and Sight and Sound and Strasburg Railroad, but today I wanna to share five of more off the beaten path locations, especially with kids in mind, and a lot of these locations have animals in them. So this video is for anyone who has a trip planned to Lancaster County, or if you're a regular subscriber who just wants to see some more of the area where I live. So hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the video. The first location I'd like to talk about is the Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe. This is in the little town of Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania, right along 340, and they have a lot to offer. I recommend going here just to pick up a coffee and maybe a donut. They have a really cute bakery where they have all kinds of different local favorites. Whoopie pies, cakes, cupcakes, pies, everything that you could want. And our favorite is always the ice cream counter. They have lots of creative flavors and traditional ones too. If you go there on the first day of spring, they actually give away a scoop of ice cream for free. And I remember the one year they're featured flavor was this coconut ice cream with chocolate chips and real strawberry pieces in it. Guys, I still cannot forget that flavor. It was so good. I'm an ice cream lover, but that was like my favorite of my lifetime so far. So I really can't recommend this place enough, but not just for the food. They also have a really nice property. You could let the kids burn off some energy on the playground or let them look at the animals there in a the little zoo that they have. So definitely check out the Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe in Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania. And make sure that if you're getting ice cream, you mention my name and they will have a little freebie for you. More information is down below in the description box. Moving on, the next place is also really close to the Bird in Hand Bakery and Cafe and it doesn't really have a name. I will put the address down below in the description box as well. But if you type that place into your GPS, it is going to take you to an Amish organic farm where they have camels grazing right in among their cows. They live right there in a barn, just like any other cattle. And I just find this super fascinating. It's not what you'd expect to see. Makes it feel like you're getting the Middle East mixed in with Lancaster County. And yeah, it's just really fascinating. This place is not really an advertised tourist attraction, but that's why I'm putting it in this video because I think it's really fascinating. So just make sure that you park safely and are respectful of the farmers and their land. But definitely check out the Camels if you're meandering around that area. This next location is kind of an alternative to the Strasburg Railroad. I go here all the time when I don't feel like riding the trains actually, but I still want to show my children the trains going by. It's a beautiful area, rolling hills, it's just gorgeous. I took my children there recently and brought my camera along, so let me show you what it's like there. So today we are at the Red Caboose Motel. This is kind of a hidden gem in Lancaster County. It's right along the Strasburg Railroad track, so you can see the trains going by right on the hour and like 10 minutes later. And you don't have to pay or anything. You can just come and park. And I like to bike here or walk here, but um, you can watch the trains go by. And then there's a petting zoo. You can get ice cream. Of course, you have to pay for that. You can even stay at the Caboose Motel in one of the car. They look like a car, but it's actually a room. I've never stayed there, so I can't necessarily recommend that. But I know this is a place we love to come for free to see the trains. And um, if you look at the schedule, you'll see that Thomas the Tank Engine is here sometimes too, as well as Percy and all of those guys. So definitely a great place to check out if you're not in the mood to spend too much money. If that looks like something you'd be interested in, just type the Red Caboose Motel into your GPS and it should take you right there. The next location I'd like to talk about is Water's Edge and it's known mostly for their mini golf, but there's actually a lot of free things to do there as well. If you have kids, they're gonna love it. There's a little bit of a walking trail around a big, beautiful reservoir or pond, I guess you could call it. There's fish in there that you can see very clearly right up at the dock. Also, there's a little bit of a zoo with alpacas there and a really nice playground for you to enjoy. 
We mini golf there all the time and really enjoy it. They also have ice cream that you can eat right there on the premises. And yeah, it's just a beautiful property all around. Another place that I'd like to recommend that's kind of centered around food and animals is the Hayloft Creamery. You can feed the ducks, watch the swans, play on the playground, and just enjoy the beautiful landscape all around. And again, I was just there recently and I took my camera along, so I'll let you see what I saw there. So we are here at Hayloft Creamery. This place is fun for all ages. Your one-year-old will love the ducks, your 10-year-old's gonna love the ice cream, you're gonna love their soft pretzels. And my favorite thing about this place is that they donate their money to a charity called Allegheny Boys Camp that helps guys to get their lives back on track again. And so the workers are actually volunteers, so it's pretty awesome. Um, so definitely check it out if you're ever in the Leola area. You will not regret it. Their food's amazing, and it's just a beautiful property in general. And if you were counting, you'll notice that that was five locations, but I'm going to throw in a sixth bonus location that's definitely not going to be just a normal tourist attraction. It's a real-life store run by Amish, and if you go here, you're going to definitely feel like you're in the true Lancaster County. I go here for groceries often, and I'd like to share it with you. So I am here today at Burdenhand Farm Supply right here in Burdenhand. And this place is definitely the quintessential Amish experience. This is a farm supply store and a little grocery store. They have everything from food to dog food to um, Amish scooters and Amish made wagons. And this is a store that the Amish actually shop in if you'd like to rub shoulders with some of them. This store has gas lights, not electric lights, and you'll see lots of Amish buggies parked here. Lots of work trucks if you come during the week, Amish come through here. But I definitely think this is a good place to go if you're looking to get a real Amish experience. I'm running in here quickly to pick up some ingredients for Whoopie Pies, which is another Lancaster County favorite. Make sure you try them if you ever get the chance. So that is all the places that I have to share with you today. Of course, there's lots more, but these I would say are the top six that I frequent a lot and definitely would recommend if you're coming to Lancaster County. Something that's a little bit different and not something that you'd probably find on TripAdvisor or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to find out more locations that I recommend in Lancaster County, make sure to check out the videos up here in the cards and I'll also put them down in the description box. I made two videos about best places to eat breakfast and lunch, and best places to eat supper. Because you know when you come to Lancaster, you are not gonna go hungry. The food is amazing. It's one of the best things I think about this area, as well as the friendly people, right? <laughs> anyway, comment down below if you've been to Lancaster and how many times or when you like to go, and also include one thing that you like to do while you're there. Or if you've been to any of these places and you definitely wanna recommend them as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more content about the area that I live in, give it a thumbs up. Other than that, I kind of just make videos sharing my life and what I've been learning. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next video.